I'm Mark Medina with the Bay Area News Group with the latest edition of the Warriors Looking Forward video series. There's a lot of different storylines uh, for this upcoming week with the Warriors. The number one storyline is what's up with the state of the team? Yes, they are in first place in the Western Conference. They have five All-Stars in their starting lineup, but the Warriors are kind of going through a little bit of ups and downs with inconsistency. Last week, you may recall, they lost by 33 points against the Boston Celtics. At that point, it was considered their most lopsided loss of the season. Then they rebound with a very dominant win against the Denver Nuggets, which is the second best team in the Western Conference. But tonight against the Phoenix Suns, the worst team in the Western Conference, they lose by a final score of 115-111. So the Warriors aren't exactly panicking, but there is kind of a state of confusion of what's going on with all the inconsistency and really not knowing what you're going to get on a night-to-night -night basis. Uh, and if the Warriors want to turn things around this week, well, they're going to have some good tests because they're going to be on the road for a week for a four-game trip. This week, two of those games will take place first. Wednesday against the Houston Rockets, Saturday against the Oklahoma City Thunder, those teams speak for themselves. There's teams that are going to be in the NBA playoffs. There's teams that the Warriors might face in the postseason, whether it's in the second round, Western Conference Finals. Maybe they could give the Warriors a little bit of a test, even if the Warriors are still favored uh, to get back to the NBA Finals for a fifth consecutive year. Um, maybe those kind of things bring out the best in the Warriors because it's a road environment, because the opponent is very tough. But the problem with reading into this is the Warriors, frankly, have a very inconsistent track record in marquee games, uh, namely against the Houston Rockets. They've already lost to them three times this season. But when you go down the line, whether it's against the Thunder, the Toronto Raptors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, for the most part, they've basically split all those games. They lost all two games against Toronto, so very hard to know what kind of Warriors effort you're going to get and result. Um, but that's why they play the games, right? The other storyline to pay attention to is what the expectation is for Andrew Obogut's return. The Warriors uh, agreed f uh, to bring him back uh, to be the 15th uh, roster spot, but it's kind of up in the air when he's going to join the team. He is expected to get clarity sometime on Monday on when and where he's going to get his visa. I've been told that he's waiting for two scenarios here. He would prefer to get a, a work visa mailed to him at a U.S. consulate somewhere in Sydney, Australia, so he doesn't have to go to all these different places uh, to get it. But if that option fails, what he's going to do is he's going to get a tourist visa, first to stop in the Bay Area, say hi, to some people in the Warriors organization, and then go up to Vancouver in Canada to get the work visa and then join the Warriors on their trip. Uh, when you kind of do the math there, pretty unlikely he would play in Wednesday's game in Houston. But there is an outside shot. Uh, he could make his uh, debut in Oklahoma City Saturday. It would be an interesting matchup uh, because Steven Adams is a pretty big physical center. He's from New Zealand. Maybe there's a rivalry with uh, the Australian native and Andrew Bogut against Steven Adams, but he's not expected to say, play the same kind of role as he did during his four years with the Golden State Warriors that coincided with that first championship run in 2015. He's going to be playing pretty limited minutes behind DeMarcus Cousins and a little bit behind Kevon Looney in Jordan Bell. But the Warriors signed him because of his familiarity with the system, familiarity with uh, some of the Warriors players, most notably Draymond Green. And also, he's a guy that can shore up a little bit of the defense. But all in all, he is an insurance policy. But a lot of interesting things going on on the state of the team, their play, and whether they can start ramping things up uh, these last remaining regular season games before the real games start in April, and also Andrew Bogut's return. For all those things and more, be sure to go to the East Bay Times website, the Mercury News website. We got a pretty good deal going on. If you subscribe, it only costs 11 cents per day for 11 months. Heck of a deal there. You can follow me on Twitter, Mark G underscore Medina. And we also got the Warriors HQ podcast up and running basically everywhere that you can get podcasts, whether it's on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, you name it. And also be sure to check out the Warriors weekly Looking Forward video series. It drops every Monday. But for now, thanks for watching.